Here we go. We are gonna go pick up some deer sheds today. Hopefully. Taylor and I are gonna pick up some deer sheds today. So, a little bit cooler this morning. I don't know, 65, 70 degrees. But I bet it gets hot. Let's see what we can find. So I forgot to bring a pack. We're actually in Vernal helping Mackenzie and Coy get moved into their new house. I'm going to try and get about 1,200 square feet of uh, laminate flooring in in the next couple days. But we couldn't come all the way to Vernal and not uh, at least pop out for a shed hunt. Um, got about, I don't know, maybe, maybe three or 400 square feet in yesterday, so we got a lot left, but, uh, Taylor had been inviting me to pop out with him for a while, so we took advantage of that this morning. I got the first shed right here. We're only a few hundred yards from the truck, so hopefully we'll have a good day. He's just coming to catch with me here. Here's the first shed of the trip. Kind of a weird low forked two point with the extra on it there. Well, three point, but I mean, forks low. First one of the day. This, I think we either just matched them up or I got another one. Maybe. Maybe 30, 40 yards down the trail. This one, that's gotta be a bigger buck because it's got an eye guard. This side don't have an eye guard. So, yep, bigger buck. <laughs> bigger two point, this is this year. We're in the right spot. Now there's two more singles in here someplace. All right, your turn. I'm done. Well, we just about walked right past this one. There we go. Uh, Two-year-old three-point. Right on. And it has an eye guard so I can tuck it in my belt. That's a bonus, since I don't have a pack. Let's see if we can't grid this flat right here and come up with the other side or another one. They seem to be in this sage here, so we'll keep in it. I can, that's awesome. Well, I either just matched it up or I got another one right here. I didn't go five steps. So here's my question of the day. <laughs> All right, so here's the question of the day. Would you rather be lucky? Or would you rather be good? We all got that guy we know that stops his truck to go to the bathroom, walks out and finds a hundred and 90 200 inch buck or giant set of brown elk sheds or something uh, Heck yeah, I just found a little four point ooh, That's two four points for him Hang on <laughs> Another ancient one Sweet Or would you rather find sheds regularly But not find those big ones Would you rather be lucky or rather be good? Let me show you what I got here. It is not the match to that one I just picked up 10 steps ago. Because they are both the same side. Both right sides. So that means there's another single here on this flat to turn up. Let's see if we can't pick it out.
All right, while I'm seeing if I can turn up these two sides, let me explain what I think the difference is between being lucky and being good, or what what is the secret to being good? Those of you that shed hunt a lot know that picking up sheds regularly is not easy. If I had to say if that I had any specific secret, it would be primarily just the sheer... Three point. Looks like hard light. Picking them up. All right, three point. Sweet, I'm still trying to match these two up over here. Sorry. So, what is the secret to being good? What is the secret to consistently picking up sheds? I think it's the miles I put in, the hours I put in, the time I put in. That's certainly the biggest thing. But on top of that, it's not just bombing through and covering mile after mile after mile. You also have to know when to slow down and spend some time, which is what we're doing here. I just found two, he just found two. That means that we are in a spot where you just spend a little bit of time, especially with the size of deer sheds that we're picking up here. This size of deer shed you'd think you could easily find in groups of 10, 15, 20, 30, even 50 in the winter time. So there could be a pretty good little pocket of sheds right in here. Or we could have them all picked up already, who knows. Got another one. Thing's got moss on it. <laughs> there we go. See? He's Taylor's killing it. That's awesome. That's five we found right here in just a couple minutes. Are you on the same side as you were? Did you cross over here where I'm at? No, I still over here where you last seen me at up on top. I'm on the back side in that little cedar pocket. Gotcha. Here we go again. Looks like a little four point. A little bit of a lull there for a minute. But we got another probably year old. No real cracking on Let's look at the backside. Yeah, I'd say probably two years old. Couple years old. As long as I got a eye guard here so I can see what I'm having to do here with no pack. Funny. We'll just keep on a plugging. Let's see if you can spot this one with me. It ain't much, but just the tips. Let's see. You see the tips sticking up out of the grass? Oh, right there. Dead center of the screen. You see just tips? Unless I'm crazy. Nope. It's either really old or brown. I'm gonna go with really old now. Yep. Just a three point. Just saw those three little tips right there coming up out of the grass. Sweet. Nice little pocket. Fun little day here. We only got about half a day that I got to get back and get some flooring done. So it's fun to be able to pop in here and just pick up some sheds. Got to th say thanks to uh, Taylor. <sighs> He's got a pretty good pile going on over there. So we're going to work our way toward each other and see how many we can find. There we go. I see four tines on that one, so let's see what we got. Another. Just four point, a little bit better. This one in the trees, first one I found not in the flats. Yes, that means we better not overlook the trees, huh? 
Heck yeah, man. That's a good looking pack. Dude. Oh, I thought that was... Is that one antler in your hand or two? Two. Okay. Still, yeah, that's got a little kicker on it. Yeah, we need to match that thing up. That's a nice buck. Oh, yeah. Hard white. Uh, about a year old. He's yeah. Just sitting in the shade. Heavy. Heavy. Nice. Spin around. Let me check out your back. Look at that, man. Sweet. Here I am over here just wearing my antler belt. It's all the rage. All right, so what are we? I'm just right here on the point, kind of glassing down. All right, I'm right. All right, so this is the basin that we're looking for the match to that good shed that you just found. Right over there, let me see. Right over the top of those two trees, I see a pretty good sized antler. But it looks like it might be chalky, so I'm gonna head over there. We're looking for a hard white in here. If nothing else, I'll go over there and get high and glass back on this side. We got at least one more over there. Hopefully, I'm hoping it's the match, because that's a big set. It's a nice set. We're hoping we can turn it up before we have to go. All right, so. Those are the trees right there that I was seeing it over the top of. See if you guys can spot this one with me. I know it's in one of these little drainages. So I think it's going to be directly here in front of me from the angle. I glassed it up from that hillside back over there. Obviously I'm trying to be careful with what I show you because this is not my spot. And uh, I don't want to give up. Oh, I see it. I see it right here. See it right there in between? That thing looks older than crap. Well, it's not your match. It's a smaller four. <laughs> a little teeny four. All right, we'll keep looking. Sorry, that's from my quick, quick draw days <laughs> when my buddy Parker and I used to shed hunt side by side. We'd walk like this and the first one to say, there it is, would get the shed. So I just sniped that one right out in front of Taylor. I just said, there it is. We're booking it through the flat skip. I was just saying, let's find one more before we get back to the truck. It's three. That looks awful close to that first three point I found this morning. Nope, this one's got an eye guard. This is awesome. I tell you what, we're gonna look at we're gonna look at the sheds here in a minute when we get back to the truck, but it's pretty rare to be able to pop out for me and have both people have a good day. It's not even noon yet. We've had an awesome hunt. And both of us found a pretty good stack of sheds. Doesn't happen for me very often. Usually somebody's hot and somebody's not. And we don't usually get into this number of deer. So it's been fun. We'll show you these sheds here in a second. Well, I came up with nine, which is about all I wanted to carry without a pack. This is the one we did not match up. Look at the mass on that guy. Dang it. Well, there's more area there. You'll have to come back and match that one up. Oh, yeah. Where's that last chunky one you found? Is it that one right there? Oh, that one with moss on it. Yeah. Forks out here don't deep 
don't fork super deep. I mean, they're pretty consistently shallow in the forks. And that one's got moss on it. Yeah. <laughs> That's sweet, man. That is sweet. Double eye guard on that one. Oh, you better head back in so I can lay a thousand miles of laminate flooring.